welcome back to the Dr. Sheet channel again for part 3 of the MIG 29 scratch build from RC Powers plants. And uh, as you can probably see, I've done a few things off camera. I have glued together the two uh, nose sections, I have glued together the running boards. And I have uh, hinged up the elevator over here, and I've cut out hinge, uh, the ailerons and the two rudders. And I've also applied a few uh, uh, pieces of uh, wing tape, red wing tape, some decals. Maybe I'll add some uh, more decals in uh, uh, when I'm getting further into the build, but. Uh, Okay, and uh, right now I'd like to do a dry fit, if every part uh, now uh, fits onto the plane. So, uh, where shall I start? Uh, let's start off by the nose section. Switch this thing around. And the nose section will of course slot into here. And it'll probably be a tight fit, and it's supposed to be that way, of course. I'll just take it easy so I won't damage anything. And gen gently slide it into place. never <laughs> going to be able to get this out again. Well, that's not really a problem. Okay. Nose section is on. Ta da! Alright, let's put her on her back and put the running boards on. Now these will go here. And uh, because I've made these wider than uh, in the original design, they'll Probably stick out a little. There. Yeah, it's uh, sticking out a little here at the front. That's no biggie, I'll just take off a little piece. Alright, bottom supports, these will slot into here and here. Okie do. Bottom plate, that'll go here. Everything fits very nicely. And the last thing will be the two rudders. There. Well, that went together pretty, pretty easily. Yeah, the nose uh, section was a bit of a, a squeeze, but it's in. And um, yeah, 
elevator is hanging down, of course, no, ele uh, no ailerons in uh, yet. But, uh, mm, yeah, the, the nose section is a bit flat looking. Um, I'll probably at least paint up a, a um, what's this called? The, the, the glass dome? Uh, prrr, I, I have no idea what it's, that's called, but there has, has to happen something over here. This is a, a bit too flat looking. For the rest, the white with the grey and some uh, red, I'm happy with that look. Looks uh, decent, I think. Tell me what you think, of course. And, um, well, the next thing, uh, this is a good uh, time to test all your electronics before you install them into your plane. Otherwise you could be, uh, well, uh, have a servo in your plane uh, when it's all uh, uh, installed. Uh, you could have a servo that doesn't work. Huh. Oh, I... I might have a binding issue here. I'm not sure if you can see that, but if the elevator is down... Hmm. Okay, so I'll have to take a piece of the rudders off. Well, this is what a drive fit is for. For the rest, everything fits very nicely. Okay, I'll um, get the servos in view. And I will do a full systems check of that. Just a second. Okay, systems check time then. Um, I have hooked up all the servos to my receiver. And uh, these are the two Aeron servos. In my case that's uh, channel 1 and 6. 1 and 6. I have hooked up two elevator servos. Uh, these are channel 2 and 5 in my case. And this is the rudder servo. And that's channel 4. And lastly but not least, uh, I've hooked up the ESC which is channel 3 in my case. And I've um, put a new uh, model in my um, transmitter. So, let's see if everything does what it's supposed to do. That sounds encouraging. And um, we've got a green light, so my transmitter is uh, bound. Uh, ailerons. Those work. Elevator, th those two. Yeah, I need to reverse one of the two. Doesn't matter at this point. Rudder. Yep, works as well. And the motor, does the motor work? So, that uh, all works. Once again, um, it's always a good uh, idea to test all your electronics before putting it into your airplane. Saves you a lot of trouble if something doesn't work out well. And, uh, well, um, now I have to take apart the entire jet. Once again I'll have to solve that binding issue on the rudder. And I'll have to take everything apart again to install the electronics. And I'll, uh, yeah, I'll do that off camera. Uh, gluing in a servo and such. Uh, not super interesting I think. Um, I'm not sure which, what the next video will be, maybe uh, you'll see the maiden flight. Maybe I'll uh, answer some questions you might have. If you have uh, any questions about uh, the build so far, please post them up below and I'll answer them uh, in, uh, in the next uh, video. And thank you very much of course for watching and hope to see you back in another video. Bye bye.